Hey guys, this is Swapneel and in this video I'm gonna be showing you a simple way by which you can easily create your own Android widgets. And the MKBHD surprise will be revealed at a later stage in this video. Let's get started. The only prerequisite here that is here that you need to have an app which is called as the Zupa Widget Pro. As you can see the name for yourself, the name is of the application is Zupa Widget Pro. Pro. So once you have downloaded this application from the Play Store or even the normal Zupa widget applications can also do. So then you need to go into your widget section and you can just go ahead and select uh, any particular given size for the widget. I will be selecting 4 into 2 and maybe we will create a page here. So here we have our widget installed. So as you can see, resize or tap to start. So we'll have to tap it. Then we'll have some various options. So like empty bullet and SD card, auto 7 MKBHD. So for creating a widget, you need to select empty template. And if we select it, we have a blank canvas for us. And we have various operations through which we can create our very own Android widgets. So let's get started. First thing is layout. You need to go into layout and this is where you will add various elements to your widget. For example, if you want date, time, um, then you want day, temperature, then you need to go into this part and then you need to hit this plus icon at the top which is for adding a new widget or rather for a particular text or any module. So if you go into text we see here we have our time that's 1705 but we can change it pretty easily by going to the text content and then we have various options like time, date, battery, calendar, astronomy, locality, network, system and weather so if I want to install the time but I, I want to have some different sort of an arrangement then we can go into this AM and PM and then we can go to the X offset which will determine its position in the x-axis and the y-offset will determine the position in the y-axis so maybe you can have it a little somewhere around the top maybe we can increase the size from the size option you can even enter values arbitrarily that would also result into the same thing so I think this is fine and then we also have color options like color of the text so maybe you can select something like reddish maroonish color so here we have a maroon color and then again according to your choice you can set up so here we have the time module installed now to install a next module we'll have to go back and then again add click the plus button then we again have various options now I want to add a date so I will again go into text and I will go into text content and this time I, around I will select date from the date option I will select full date that's now Thursday 5th March 2015 so now again I can choose X offset and Y offset again I can increase the size so again I will enter arbitrary value maybe 25 yeah that's fine again we can choose colors so there you there you have it guys I have now installed successfully the time as well as the date and now I can also choose various options which I think you guys might just want to go ahead and explore so that you will learn more about this application and how to use it now I have done everything I just need to go back into the main home screen where from where we started now we have widget background and this is something with which we can select the background of the widget so maybe something like blue color so here we have a blue background on which date and uh, time and stuff will be appearing and we can also choose widget on tap action this is something which would happen if you click the widget once when it is installed in your home screen so like then I can go into Zupa configuration disable and stuff we can also go into apps so maybe I can select uh, CPU Z here so now I have done everything 
and if, if, if I wish to add some more layouts and stuff or modules onto the widget I can easily do so by going into the layout and then clicking the plus button at the top now let's save our widget let's give it the name of so there you, give, there you I have given it my name and then we can save it and if I now if I press the home button so you will have to wait a little and then you will see that the widget has appeared onto my home screen so it's a pretty simple technique by which you can create various widgets according to your own choice and taste so that would be it guys for this video thank you guys for watching this video and before ending I almost forgot the MKBHD surprise so if I go into the widget section and add a 4 by 2 widget and click it as you can see I have an option called as MKBHD simple clock inspired by MKBHD's new logo so I will just hit it once loading and again hit the home button here I will see that I now have the MKBHD clock widget which looks pretty badass though so for doing that I need to go into the play store and search MKB HD just a moment guys so this is the clock MKB HD clock and this should be installed so you can just go ahead and search it in the play store and just download it and this is an add-on for the Zupa widget pro or even for the Zupa widget so that would be it guys for this video thank you guys for watching this video and hope you enjoyed it and if you did that so feel free to hit the thumbs up button down below and also don't forget to subscribe you can also follow me on facebook google plus and twitter links to all of them are in the description thank you guys for watching this video and hope you enjoyed it